2023 has been the year for Polygon and it's also been my most promising cryptocurrency bet. Not only has Polygon secured so many partnerships, they have also upgraded their zero knowledge proofs through Plonky2. But not only that, this year they want to meet some key milestones. They want to make Polygon completely and fully decentralized. Right now it is semi-decentralized, but eventually they want the users to be validating the transactions. Hence the proof of stake. So the validators put an economic stake on the network and they get rewarded in the form of Matic tokens. They also have continually improved scalability and that involves speed. Right now, Polygon can process transactions of around 7,000 transactions per second. And this year, they're aiming to increase this to 100,000 transactions per second. Not to mention, Polygon has also focused on interoperability, the ability where their blockchain can communicate with Ethereum's and Binance Smart Chain. And they've also prioritized eco-friendliness. Now, you guys know that Polygon is an Ethereum scaling solution. What does that mean and why is that so crucial? Now, Ethereum's network is known as a layer one and we know that Ethereum is king of smart contracts. But the problem is there are issues within the Ethereum ecosystem, such as speeds and costs can be quite high and speeds are quite slow. But lo and behold, remember, Polygon is not a competitor to Ethereum. It's actually a solution in expanding and building the Ethereum ecosystem further and allowing it to interoperate with other blockchains as well. Polygon actually fixes all the problems associated with the Ethereum network. So it means that the Ethereum ecosystem can be joined with the Polygon ecosystem. Now, the most revolutionary upgrade to Polygon has been zero knowledge proofs. What does this mean? Because you probably hear it everywhere. So if you take a look at this diagram, you can see that users have many transactions. For explanatory sake, they've included just around six transactions. So these multiple transactions can go into a single transaction known as batch transactions that go into this one single transaction. This means that all these transactions get batched and put into a single transaction. And it's only the single transaction that needs to be proved. It removes that long and tedious process where validators have to verify each of these individual transactions. Instead, they simply need to verify this main transaction through a single proof. And if it's just a single proof, it means cost savings and faster transaction speeds because the transactions get validated faster. Now, the Polygon team have been continually improving their zero knowledge proof technology. Plonky2 is one of them. Plonky was the original and now they've got Plonky2. I'm going to link this article in my description box, but Plonky2 basically is a zero knowledge proof. It's developed by the Polygon team to essentially improve the scalability and the privacy of the transactions on the network. Plonky2 is based on the Plonk system, which uses the concept of recursive proof composition. What does that mean? Well, remember I was talking about zero knowledge proofs, how there are so many transactions that get batched and it just requires a single proof. Well, recursion means just that. It means using a single proof to prove a set of separate goods. So Plonky2 comes in here. Initially, we have the transactions proved using Starkey with a lower rate. Then with that recursive concept, they get verified with Plonky2 with also a lower rate. But with Plonky2, they are using two proofs that get aggregated and that gives them a higher rate. And then the final proof is hashed with SHA-3, which is the hashing used natively on Ethereum. So transactions can, through Plonky2, be processed off-chain, and this improves efficiency and the costs. Now, we've talked about how it improves efficiency, cost, and speed, but let's also talk about Plonky2 improving the security. So the privacy, so what actually each transaction contains. Those particular details are actually verified off chain. So it doesn't require the actual transaction details to be shared. So it means transactions can be validated without the validators actually seeing what amount is in that transaction or even which parties are involved in that transaction. Now, I hope this helps you guys understand how zero knowledge proofs work and how this technology is continually improving. If you understand the foundational concepts of it, then you can understand what all these upgrades that are taking place are. I'll go into another video of what Polygon Maiden is and it's more developer focused, but for now, let's go into some of the milestones that we've seen take place for Polygon. 
And this was tweeted by the co-founder of Polygon, Sandeep Nelwal, and he said, one, Google announces support for Polygon Supernets, and they are committed to supporting Polygon startups with a joint fund. And then the largest auction house, the Sotheby's, actually launched their own NFT marketplace on Polygon, and Sports Illustrated also launched a ticketing platform. Now, this is another one, but I, again, I'm not gonna dig into the details just now in this video. I think I should make separate videos on all of these huge milestones. And then Franklin Templeton, which is a large financial sector asset management giant worth around $1.4 trillion. And by the way, when I was like 19 years old, I did work experience there, so I love that they're mentioned. Anyway, they're going to be tokenizing large-scale regulated financial products with Polygon DeFi. So many major institutions are finding use cases through Polygon's blockchain network. I mean, just recently, climate finance firm Solid World opened a forward carbon liquidity pool with Polygon. So the pool will allow carbon credits being able to be purchased on the Polygon blockchain. Polygon is tackling pretty much every industry, even in GameFi. Take a look at this. Polygon becomes the leading chain for GameFi. And close second, we have Solana, and then we have BNB, and then we have Hive. But almost 35% of the active GameFi unique wallets are on Polygon's blockchain. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. But this month, I'm going to be having a Polygon series, a bit of a deep dive on everything that's been happening. This is more of an overview video, and I wanted to introduce you guys to the concepts of zero knowledge proof so that when you have that knowledge solidified, everything else will then make sense. Also, guys, I produce crypto content for QuickSwap, which is Polygon's largest decentralized exchange. So if you want to see some of my quick, snappy, knowledge-filled videos, Check them out on TikTok. I also represent Doge Chain and I also represent Luna Digital Assets. So I'm really heavily involved in the Polygon community. So I try to bring you guys the latest information on there and I will be having the Polygon series this month. So stay tuned and hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you guys get informed on when I release a video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.